Panic is uh, a real study in, in people. A very diverse group of people came here from all avocations. Some came here running from something. Most came here running toward something that they never found. It was a hard scrabble life. Many people perished just in the journey to get here. That anybody survives after arrival here is amazing. And, um, and it's, a, it's a desolate place. It's a humbling place. It will humble you in, in, in short order. And, uh, and you just got to give a lot of respect to the people that came here and stayed here and, and made it. It's called a Living History Weekend, unlike Cowboy Days or something. This is to show the visiting public what de a day in the life was for the merchants and the miners and the town folk of Bannock back in 1862 to 1865. I portray a fellow by the name of William Sturgis who built the first uh, sawmill in, in Bannock. And he saw a need for that and said, well, I can make a lot more money and a better living selling wood than I can mining for gold with the rest of them, so. Unless you live the history, you can, really can't appreciate it. Unless you live and sleep in a tent in the cold and actually use the tools that they used hundreds of years ago, you can't really appreciate what they did. It's a good example of what our ancestors went through. You know, there's not just the adversity or the skills of running a blacksmith shop or carpenter any of the other trades on it, but just the climate, the weather, the, the adversity that you had to go ahead and endure at the same time, you know, when conditions weren't well. Our nonprofit is the Montana Living History Program. Mark and Sharon's pro nonprofit is the Montana Live uh, Program. And so, two, two different names, but with the same goals of going ahead and trying to teach history and to keep it alive and be able to show people, you know, especially the young kids coming up, to be able to show them the old ways and how things were done. History is taught in the schools through a book and you don't get the sights and the sounds and the smells and the tastes and everything that comes together and creates the overall picture. It's a very rewarding feeling, and especially when the school children come through, to get to be able to tell them history that you're pretty sure they're not getting in their classroom, and keep history alive. <laughs>